We're here off Brew Reef in the Kimberley and we've been diving here for about a week and we've got another week to go. But diving here, it's fantastic. I mean, we try to dive on slack water where the sediment is held down, the current is a lot less, and the topographical structure underwater is, is just amazing to see. There's all sorts of crevices and undercut ledges and bommies. There's lots of corals, soft corals, mollusks, crustaceans, all manner of marine life up here, and a lot of it we don't know about or we've never seen before. In fact, as the divers come up out of the water after this dive, you'll get to see some of the things that they've found. Probably a new genus, and um, we've found it the last couple of years. But what we've worked, what we found out, is that the DNA sequences match up with a, a new genus that hasn't yet been described from Eastern Australia. So it'd be interesting to to, uh, to match the specimens with the Eastern Australian ones to see if we can come up with a, a, a morphological connection between the two. Hasn't got a name yet. Wonderful stuff. And these coral heads are these little guys here, which are called trapezia. Now these guys live in branching corals, uh, usually in mate pairs, so there's usually a male and a female in the, in the coral head. And what they do is they actually feed off the mucus and whatever's caught in the mucus by um, the coral as the coral feeds. But what the coral gets out of this, out of this uh, food there, is that these guys will actually defend the coral head from predators. As the sea star approaches and puts its tube feed on the, on the coral, these guys will race out and will go at it with their claws, trying to prevent <laughs> their, their home being eaten by the sea star. This one out, this is the Tubastria. This is actually a azoxanthellate coral, so they don't have a photosynthetic partner. But this is beautiful. Underwater it was quite a brown colour, but now out of the water when it's got a bit of oxygen in it, it's turning bright red. So this is a beautiful find. That was a lovely dive. And one really good thing about it, we could hear all hear the whales singing in the distance. So you hear that, it's like someone's piping music to you underwater while you're swimming along. This little cardinal fish is one that's quite difficult to identify. He's Archamia, but there are three species that look very similar. Probably uh, need a little bit of genetic work to help us work out which one is which. Very attractive little fish. Well, down there attached to the soft corals was one Pateria penguin. Look at that. That is a, a bivalve mollusk that's related to the oysters. Now these ones here, which are called um, feather stars or crinoids, and they're both they're echinoderms as well. And these guys are cracking. There were so many of these in those caves down there, and they're all different colours and different shapes, and they're quite amazing when you see them swim underwater. But usually, you'll just find them um, gripped onto the bottom of rocks. 